puerta, porfa. Share has a site for cafe. She takes beautiful picture for us. Sol and Korea haven't traveled to Europe before, but they hope to go next year. Gary hasn't tried with his surfing. He's afraid of the water. Megan has won an award for being the school's fastest swimmer. Thank you. Now, look at the next exercise, guys. Okay, David, come on. Write the sentences in the present perfect. Number one. Yes, come on, David. Okay. Uh, well, write sentences with the present perfect. Number one. My teacher, my teacher's been to the United States many times. All teachers gone to the United States many times. Number two, my boss, my boss has studied in the Swiss Alp sky. Sky. A ski. A ski. Okay. Yeah. Has My bus a has a ski in the Swiss Alps. Yeah, for example, here there is a, a mistake, okay? It says a ski, a skiing over there. It said, but the word is just this, a ski. A ski. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three. Huh? I've always wanted to go on a roller Coaster. Exactly. Call. My neighbor has never been to Canada. Number five. My parents have seen the movie Doctor Saguayo five times. Last oh. one. My brothers. My brothers have tried Vietnamese food once. Once or twice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, Patty, come on, let's continue. About you. Okay. Can you uh, please read? It says answer the questions with true information and other frequency expression where necessary. Okay. Yes. So, Patty, number one. What's something exists? Yes, Patty. Um, I we we can't hear Patty. We have a bad connection again. Okay. Uh, okay. I would I would try uh, the the Jana number mm -hmm. two. Okay. Number two. Yes. Okay. What something scary you've done? Mm -hmm. Well. I don't go out for my house, but I see the thriller movies. Okay. Thriller movies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now, uh, again, uh, well, let's go back to Patty. Okay. Patty number three, can you now speak? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's something boring you have done in the last month? I have been at my house for 40 days. 
40 or 14? 40. Ah, 40. 40. 40. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Diana, number four, how many times have you been late to class recently? I sometimes sometimes wanted to visit Japan. No, no, no. Uh, how many times have you been late to class recently? Uh, well. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, Diana, are you there? Uh, how many times have you been late to class recently? Uh, you want to say, you, you can say, you can say you have never been late, or you can say how many times, one time, two times. Oh my gosh, she got disconnected. <laughs> That's too bad, the bad connection. Bad, the bad connection. Mine? No. <laughs> no, you're okay. I, I don't know what happened to your microphone, or it's your, it's your internet that sometimes sounds weird, okay? <laughs> Oh, she's back again. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's, uh, uh, Diana, are you okay? Yes. Oh, can, can we continue? I'm sorry, but my laptop is... Okay, in what question? Number four, how many times have you been late to class recently? Mm, I think I've never. Exactly, I've never I've been. Nev I've never in. Been, no, been late. We never, okay. I've never been late. Okay, I've never been late. Exactly, very good, yes. Oh my God. Okay, Patty. what country have you always wanted to visit? I have always wanted to go on Europe. To visit. To be, to gone, no? No, no, to visit. After, when, when you have, when you have the infinitive to, you use a verb in, you know, in base form, in infinitive form, to visit, to go, to see, yes. okay? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, Diana, what kind of food have you never tried before? Yes. Yes, Diana. Uh, what kind of food have you never tried before? I've never tried. Italian food. Okay, okay, excellent. Exactly, thank you. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, the answer, uh, question three, uh, question four is wrong. wrong. 
Eh, question. Uh, uh, the answer right has uh, uh, question, uh, answer for. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, question three. Yeah, question three. And um, question four. And four, exactly. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are inverted, right? Yes. Yeah. So, thanks. Thanks for the for that, um, Mr. Marcos. Good job. Okay. Thank you. And, and, come on, Patty. Are you taking a selfie? Is that serious, <laughs> Patty? Well, you better answer this question. What movie have you seen several times? Come on. I have always been is the Pretty Woman. Oh yeah, do you like that? I love. Oh, that's good. That's good. Excellent, Patty. Very good. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stop here in the homework. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the to the book. Yes. Um, yesterday we um. Uh, we didn't get to finish this part, okay? Guys, let's practice a little bit more the uh, present perfect. The, yeah, present perfect, yes? So, look, we're gonna so, practice. Uh, we're gonna practice. Uh, okay, I guess somebody has the party. Okay, I guess somebody has the party, do you? <laughs> But do you have microphones or something? But do you have microphones or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Patty. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna silence your computer, okay? Because <laughs> it's, it, I, I'm listening, to, I'm listening my own echo. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, uh, Mr. Marcos. Look, okay. we're, hey, we're gonna do this. We're gonna practice again, exercise A, and we are going to change the word that is underlined, okay? For example, you are going to change with your, you know, with your uh, personal experience, okay? Or something that you would like to do, okay? okay? Yes? So, and the other person is going to respond, okay? Marcos, you are A, a and Marquitos, you are B, okay? Come on. Hey. It's a. Uh, it's here on page thirteen. We are on page thirteen. Exercise A. Okay. I always wanted to try a scuba diving. Really? Okay. Not. No. Me. No. But but you have to. Uh, um, Marcos, you have to change the underlying word. A scuba diving is underlined. You have to change it, okay? With something related to the water. For example, a scuba diving, surfing, wind oh, surfing. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, okay another, uh, another spot. Okay. Yes. Okay. I always wanted uh, to go uh, uh, Alaska. Uh, okay. Another but, sport? Yeah, another sport. Okay. For example, uh, it should be in relation with the answer. The answer says, it says, I've always been afraid of the water. Alaska and water, it doesn't okay. match, okay? Okay, I always wanted uh, to try uh, uh, skiing. Water skiing. Uh -huh. Water skiing. Okay, excellent. Again, one more time, please, one more time. Okay, I always wanted to uh, try uh, water skin. Okay, Marquitos. 
really not me. I always been afraid of deep water. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, Marquito, number two, you are A, and Andrea, you are B. Remember, Marquito, you have to change the word phone, okay? Instead of phone, you, you, can, you can use another word, okay? Yes, come on. Okay. I haven't done any, anything um, and hard hard uh, um, letter lately okay okay Andrea me neither I haven't any time uh, okay yes but something is missing I haven't I haven't had any time. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Now, Andrea, you are number three. You are A, and David, you are B. Okay. I haven't. I haven't seen the new. Um, it movie. I really want to see it. We should go. All my friends have seen it and they love it. Excellent, very good. Now, David, you are number four, you are A, and Patty, you are B. Okay. I've gone scuba diving three or four times this year. It's fun. Yes, Patty. Can I go? Can I go with you sometime? I have never tried it before. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Now, uh, Patty, you are A, number five, and Diana, you are B. Okay. I'm sorry, can you repeat, Patty, please? I want to go to Europe. I have never been to Paris. Uh, yes, but you have to change. But you have to change the words that are online underline. You have to change Europe or you have to change Paris. Uh, I want to go to Thailandia. Thailand. I never. Thailand. Yes, Thailand. I have never been to Maldivas. To the what? Maldivas. Oh, that's an island, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right. Now, can you repeat it again, please, so can Diana can listen? Okay. Yes, repeat, please. Thailand. I have never been to Maldivas. Okay, thank you. Diana? Okay, me neither. My cousin likes there. He he's invited invited me several times, but I haven't had enough money to go. Okay, exactly. Yes, enough money. Remember the pronunciation, guys. The pronunciation lips. My cousin lips there. Okay. Lips. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, guys, look at number three. Talk about it. What are your secret dreams? Okay. So, Diana, what's something you've always wanted to buy? Um, I... I've 
always okay. I always love wanted to buy. Um, I've always wanted to buy t-shirts for anime. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's good. And All right. I have two. You have two? Okay. Yes. Okay, so you, you want to buy more. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's good. Marcos, what's a city that you've never been to, but would you, would but would like you would like to visit i i always uh, like to visit uh, alaska Okay. Uh, but uh, I don't have uh, enough money to okay. travel. Okay, thank you. Very good. Um, okay, David, what's something you've always wanted to learn how to do? I've always wanted to learn to play piano. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Marquitos and Andrea, what about you? What's something you've always wanted to learn how to do? Andrea. I only, I, I have always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Learn what? I'm sorry? Learn how to play the guitar. Ah, okay. How to play. Thank you. Very good. Marquitos. Okay. I always, uh, I have always uh, wanted to wanted, learn uh, learn uh, uh, sing language sign language oh that's interesting language. yeah sign language thank you language. very good excellent thank em you. yes and patty what's something else you've always wanted to do patty I have always one. I I I, I have to. Um, so I learn to surfing. Okay. I always wanted. Repeat, Patty. I, I always. I have always uh -huh. wanted to learn. Uh, to learn to surfing. Surf. Surfing. Surfing. Exactly. Exactly. Very good, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's a... Okay. Patty, are you using your laptop? Yes. Okay. I, I don't know why it sounds, you know, sounds like the echo. You know the echo? Yeah. <laughs> My voice uh, or your voice? My voice, yeah, my voice sounds like funny, <laughs> but anyways, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Bad connection, Patty. <laughs> Bad connection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, look. So uh, let's continue, guys, on unusual experiences. Look at the topic, everybody. Lesson B unusual experiences okay now here we have two pictures we have martin and mailing okay uh, here um 
uh, here, Martin and Maylin, they are talking about the scary, uh, scary experiences, okay? Yes. So, can you guys tell me some scary experiences that, that you have had? Come on. For example, have you ever been to Six Flags to the roller coasters? Batman the Ride, Superman, Killer all of them. Come on. Can anybody tell me some scary experiences? Think about it. Come on. Think about it. Think about like an, or, or maybe something that happened to you, okay? Uh, in your town, in your, in the city, at home, something strange maybe, okay? Yeah, something is scary. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Yeah. Sometimes when you are in your phone and, and, and you feel that somebody is behind you watching you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen to you guys? No. No? Okay, okay. All right. Um, yes, come on, David. What's something scary that has happened to you? In my town, when the weather is raining, Mm -hmm. Usually, the river uh, gets rice and yeah, rices. Mm -hmm. uh, rices. My friends and I uh, had to cross the river oh. swimming. Really? Yeah, <laughs> like a play. Wow. I know. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> In San yeah, Marcos. Uh, there is a river, too. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. There is a river, of course. There is a river, yes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and something also scary about the... Yes. Uh, about the Chaneques, you know, the, the, the story of the Chaneques, yes. Yes, at midnight. <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> yeah, 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 Chaneques are very famous. Okay. Uh, eh, okay, uh, Marcos, what about you or eh, Marquitos, Andrea? Come on, do you have something and scary experience you want to share with us? Yes. Okay, uh, I remember um, um, maybe. Uh, 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 20, uh, 20, 20 years ago, uh -huh. I visited a, a, a Scarlet Hotel. Oh, like like, uh, a haunt, like a haunted house? Haunted, uh, haunted house. Uh, the, uh, the, oh, the hotel. Hotel. Uh, hotel. Ah, hotel, okay. Uh, the hotel is alone. Really? Okay, it's, it's near Caleta. It's oh. Near the... <laughs> oh. <Yeah. Okay. laughs> ah, you went. First. So you... Uh -huh. Okay, I uh, visit first. I visit uh, to hotel only. Uh, Three friends. Okay. In in the night. Twelve. Wow. Okay. Wow. You at, mid, at midnight. Midnight. Okay. Midnight. Uh, we uh, entered the uh, the hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, inside, we found. Uh, Draw, uh, draw dibujos. Drawings. <laughs> uh huh. Drawings. Drawings. Uh, yeah. First time I I went to the hotel uh, with three friends. Okay, so it was second, uh, like, uh huh. Second time I visit the same hotel 
with more friends. Okay. About, uh, about 20 friends. Wow. We we visit we went to hotel about 20 persons. Really? In midnight. <laughs> I wow. remember I remember uh was a scary. Oh it was a scary experience then. A scary experience. Okay, okay. Yeah, if it was a haunted house or hotel, well, yeah, you guys should be scared, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, any other experience, everybody? It's okay because we have been we have been sharing a lot of uh, some experience here. Okay, now look. Okay, um, here we have a, the topic again is unusual experience. Okay, experiences. I'm sorry. Um, uh, look at the look at number one, guys. It says building language. Okay. Now it says, listen. Which experience do you think was scarier? Okay. And we have, you know, Martin experience and Maylin experience. Okay. So guys, um, let's listen. Okay. And at the end, let's vote for the most scary. Okay. <laughs> Or the or the scariest would be okay so here we go everybody listen up please page 14 lesson B unusual experiences one building language a listen which experience do you think was scarier have you ever done anything scary? Mei Ling Chen, Taipei, Taiwan. Yes, I have. I went whitewater rafting in Ecuador last year, and I fell off the raft. Luckily, my friends pulled me out of the river. But I've never been so scared in my life. Martin Suarez, Caracas, Venezuela. No, I haven't. Well, maybe once. I entered a talent contest a couple of years ago and sang in front of a hundred people. That was scary. But I won third place. Okay, everybody. So, so look at the Maylene. Okay. Look at the picture. Yes. She, we she went white water rafting. Okay. And uh, and this guy Martin, he was singing, okay, singing in front of a hundred people. So which one do you think is the scarier? Okay, Patty, for you, which one is the scarier? May Link's experience or Martin experience? Which one is the is the scariest? Yes, Patty. What? Can you listen, Patty? Yes. Okay, which one is the 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 scariest for you? May Links or Martin? No, no, ah. mainly the Martin. <laughs> Two? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Two stories. Yeah, both. Both stories. Both okay. stories. All right, okay. Diana, what about you? I think mainly. Yes. Okay. Have you ever been into water sports, Diana? Hey. Do you know how to swim? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so basically this is how um, we're gonna complete this exercise. It says, have you ever done anything scary? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, uh, look at the, guys, look at the exercise B. Complete these questions and answers and then practice. For example, look at number one, okay? Look at number one. Um, let's say, um, Diana, can you please complete letter A? And Patty, you complete letter B. Okay. Um, number one. Letter, letter A. Have you ever been to Ecuador? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Patty. Yes, I have. Patty, I. Yes, I have. Uh, I went there last year. Exactly, yes, I went there last year. Excellent, thank you. Now, David and um, Andrea, come on. David, you are A, Andrea, you are B. Have you ever been a talent contest? Okay. I have, no, I haven't. I've always been too shy. Okay. I've always been too shy, okay. Now, look, it says, have you ever, well, in this case, been, is that, is that you went there in order to enjoy? But for example, here the question, it would be more related to, have you ever entered Enter it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. And yes, the answer is no, I haven't. Very good on that. Um, uh, Andrea, and I've always been excellent. Good job in your in your answers, guys. Okay, excellent. So, basically, everybody, look here. Look, I want you to pay attention to this part, okay? Here, we are talking about experiences, right? But look, here, we are not using the present perfect in number one. It says, yes, I have. I went there last year. So we're using the simple past, okay? Now, I want you to pay attention here, guys, that the simple past you use with expressions like last, for example, last year, okay? Yes, last year, last month, last week, okay? Yes, so also remember that we use, we use the, the, um, the past simple, okay? Uh, with the word ago. Yes, with the word ago. For example, I went there a year ago. For example, if you want to say last year, well, you say a year ago. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, so those are the most common time expressions. Okay, also, you use it with years. For example, I went there in, uh, in 2001. Okay. Why? Because it's a past action. It's already finished. Okay. Yes. So again, you can use it with the word last. Okay. We can use it with the word ago. For example, a week ago. All right. A week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Okay. And with years, with expression in, in 2010. For example, I finished my professional career in 2010, okay? So that's when we use the, the simple past, okay? Simple past. Now, okay, guys, look at now the grammar, present and simple past questions and answers, okay? So 
Uh, can you, uh, let's everybody, uh, wait. Let me erase this information. There we go. Okay. Look at the present perfect and simple past questions and answers, okay? Now, uh, Marquito, can you read please? Use the present perfect. Use the present perfect for indefined times before now. Indefinite, yes. Indefinite, okay. Indefinite times, definite. Indefinite. Okay. okay, now look at the, can you read the examples, please, Marquitos? Have you? Have you ever gone white water uh, rafting? No, I haven't. I've, I've never gone rafting. Yes, I have. I went rafting last May. Exactly, last May. Okay, good. Okay. Now, um, let's say, Andrea, come on, read the other, please. Use the simple past. Okay, use the simple past for a specific event for our or times in the past. Example. Mm. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. But I, I feel of that rest. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Now, uh, okay. Now, here, look, guys, look at the sentences, everybody. Okay. It says indefinite time, guys. It says, have you ever gone white rafting? No, I've never gone, uh, I've never gone rafting, okay? So that means that up to, up to this moment, okay, until now, I haven't, I haven't gone rafting, okay? But for example, here, yes, I have. I went rafting last May. Ah, okay, so this in this sentence we use simple past. Okay, yes. Why? Oh, because we are uh, we are using a specific time in the past. What is the specific time? Last May. Okay, last May is the specific time. Okay, so when we are Guys, when we are specific, okay, when we are specific, we use the past simple, okay? When we when we talk about indefinite time, okay, we use present perfect, okay? Now, look at the questions, guys. Look at the questions here. It says, when you ask a question, you use have, okay? Have and the verb in past participle, for example, have you ever gone white water rafting? Okay. And short answer, no, I haven't. Okay. Yes. Now look at the question in simple pass. Did you have a good time? Yes. Remember that when you ask a question in simple pass, the verb, when you ask the question, it's in the base form. Did you have a good time? And when you answer, Yes, I did, okay? Yes, I did. I fell off the raft, okay? You use the verb in past simple, okay? So remember, we are going to be using uh, the verbs in the base form, past simple and past participle, okay? Yes? So again, at the back of the book, there is a list okay, of irregular verbs for you to check also, okay? So later in this page, we are going to see more verbs, okay? Now, look at the in conversation, yes? The most common questions with the present perfect are, have you ever or have you seen, been, heard, or had, yes? Out of the top questions, guys, using in the present perfect, these are the most common. Have you ever seen, okay? Have you ever seen a rainbow? 
Have you ever been to a concert? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard of? Okay. Yes. Have you have you ever had and then a compliment? Okay. Yes. Now, so guys, um, look at the page. Uh, well, look at the exercise A. Complete the conversations with the present perfect or simple past. Okay. So. According to the question, uh, you are going to use present perfect or simple past. Are we specific? Ah, we use a simple past. We talk about indefinite times before now. Well, we use the present perfect. For example, here, guys, look at look at these uh, uh, look at these sentences in number one. Okay, it says, look at the expression last year in may guys are they specific yes or no yes exactly okay yes they are specific so we're gonna use the past simple so diana can you ask the question and patty can you answer the question please come on okay did your family have a vacation last year yes we have Uh, yes, Patty. Uh, yes, Patty, can you complete the rest, please? I guess we're having, again, back in action. Okay, so guys, did your family have a vacation last year? Yes, we did. Yes, we did, excellent. Yes, we went. Exactly, we went. yes, excellent. We went to Bangkok in May, yes. very good. We went to Bangkok in May. Exactly, excellent, yes, Patty. We're having sort of a bad connection, but that's why I don't hear you very well, okay? Uh, okay, let's let's start with the next. Marcos, come on, and uh -huh. David. Have you ever seen pyramid, pyramid eyes? I listen. Uh, David, can you repeat, please? I didn't hear you. No, I haven't. I've always wanted to go to Egypt. Exactly. I've always wanted. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Okay, now, okay, now, um, uh, Marquito and Andrea, look at number three. Look at number three. It says last week, last week. Is this a specific? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? So we're going to use these expressions, okay? Yes. Past, sim uh, past simple. So, um, Okay, Marquito, can you start, please? Did you go? No. Did you go away last uh, week, weekend? Exactly, yes. Did you go? Uh -huh. And Andrea? No, we didn't. Yes. We home. Exactly, very good. We stay home. Good job. Thank you. Uh, 
Okay, now let's continue, please. Um, uh, David and, and Diana, come on. Have you ever gone skin? skin? Yes, I have. Actually, I went many times last year. I here in the Andes. Okay, 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 again. Yes, good job. Have. You ever gone? Okay, yes, scheme, very good. So, again, please repeat your answer, uh, Diana. Yes, I have. Actually, I went many times last year. No, I, I went many, okay, I went many times, but look, hey, but it says, it says many times. Many times, we use it, remember that we use the present perfect for also repeated actions, okay? okay. Present perfect for repeated actions, so, come on. I've, I've gone many times last year. I've gone many times. I've gone okay. many times. Last year. Last year. You are specific. Uh, yes. I've. What is the puzzle of a ski? It's a regular verb, remember. Skid. Skid. I skid. Skid. I skid in the Andes. In the Andes. Okay, very good. Yes, in the Andes. So, guys, so basically this is how uh, we... Uh, how we do these exercises, okay? Now, you have a clear idea. You have a clear idea that um, when we are specific, we use the, the past, the, we use a simple past. And when we, we, and when we talk about indefinite times, well, we use the present perfect, okay? Yes? Now, uh, okay, now, listen up everybody, okay? And um, here, uh, wait, 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 wait a second. Okay, Marcos, can you ask please David number one? David, you you respond with your personal information. Okay. Question, uh, uh, yes. personal information? No, I ask the question to David, number one. Okay, okay. Mr. David. Did your family have a vacation last year? Yes, we did. We went to Hidalgo State. Okay. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Now, David, ask uh, Diana, please, number two. Have you ever seen the pyramids. Um, yes, I have. Mm. When I was a little girl, I I went to I went to uh, pyramid in Mexico City. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Teotihuacan. Yes. Teotihuacan, exactly. Yes. Good job, okay. Diana. Can you ask number three to Patty, please? Okay. Okay, Patty. Did you go away last weekend? What? Okay. Diana, 
Edna, ask again, please. Okay. Did you go away last weekend? Did you go what? Did you go away last weekend? Uh, the question is, Patty, that if you, if you went away, that means to go to another place far from you. I can listen, nothing. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I can barely, yeah, I can barely listen to you, Patty, okay? Okay, Patty, uh, write in the chat, please. Can you write in the chat the answer for number three? Yes? All right, please, write it in the, write it in the chat. Now, uh, Diana, can you ask Andrea, please, number four? Okay. Have you ever gone skiing? Skin. Skin. Yes. Okay. Yes, and Andrea. No, I haven't. Uh, Speak out loud, please. No, I haven't. I never I've never gone Huh? Never gone to ski. I've never gone skiing, okay? Yes, okay. The, the phrase is go skin. So it, so when you say it, you say gone skin. Okay. All right, guys. Good. Now, okay. Uh, any questions about this before we move on, guys? It's okay? Yes, it's okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, okay. Let's move on to the, to the next part, guys. Building vocabulary. Yes. Look at the building vocabulary, guys. It says... Ask your classmates, yes? Ask your classmates about these good and bad experiences. For each question, find someone who answers yes, okay? Now, guys, we have good experiences and bad experiences, okay? Yes? So, come on, guys. Uh, let's everybody check here and ask okay come on you can ask each other here okay good experiences and bad experiences okay so come on um, uh, mr marcos you can start asking okay okay uh, experience okay uh, uh, I going to to ask. Uh, yes, uh, can you ask one of the students here, please? Okay. okay. Have you ever won a contest or competi competition? A competition. Excellent. Okay. okay. Uh, answer. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, look, we better, okay, we better do this. Mr. Marcos, you are going to, you are going to uh, read the questions and you guys are going to say yes or no, okay? And oh, okay, complete. okay, okay. Yes? Okay, I, I, I'm going to ask each, uh, each, each partner. Yeah, you're, you're going to, you're going to ask the question and we are going to say if, if we have that experience or not, okay? For example, can you read again number one? Okay. Have you ever won a contest or competition? Okay, come on you guys. Have you ever won a com contest or competition? Mm. 
Dayana, yes. Mati. Yes. Yes, I have. What is it? What competition? Uh, in my school uh, for swimming. Okay, swimming competition. Okay, so Diana, she had a good experience. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? No. No. Okay. So Marcos, come on next. Okay. Have you ever uh, gotten a perfect grade on an exam? Yes, I have. Okay. I, yeah, but tell us, tell us in what what subject or how much did you get? Uh, the subject is mathematics. Okay. Yes. That's a good for mathematics. Perfect, great. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Anybody else, guys? Come on. Only, only Diana is the <laughs> has got the perfect grade. Yes. Okay. Okay. Continue. I Continue, have Marcos. Just Ninety-nine. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, I remember. Um, um, I won. No, I I got it. Ah. I got I got I got a perfect grade in uh, mathematics. Oh, that's good. And, yeah. Uh, I don't remember about fifteen years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a long time ago, right? <laughs> okay. okay thank Next. You. Continue. Yes. Okay. Have you ever? Spoken to a famous person? No. Okay. Patty, David, Marquito. Patty dice que la sacó la clase. Oh, uh, is, is, me is, me uh, ah, excelente. Ahí está, ya se metió. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Qué bien. So, Patty, have, <laughs> have you ever <laughs> spoken to a famous person? I I remember no. No? Okay, okay. Nobody. Okay, continue, please. Uh, Marcos. Okay, have, have you ever taken an inspiring trip? No. Uh, well, I have. I have taken an exciting trip to, to Cancun and Isla Mujeres and all those places. They were very exciting, guys. It was a 15-day trip. Okay. Next question, everybody. Next question, Marcos. Okay, next, next question. Okay, no worry. Okay, have you ever found a lot of money? No. <laughs> no. Nothing. Oh my God, we're not that lucky. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, Marcos. David, no. come on, can you help us? Bad experiences. Okay. Have you ever broken something valuable? Valuable. Valuable. Exactly. Uh, what do you guys think? Yes. What is it? It's a book. Uh, <laughs> Me level. too for Patty, but oh, the other for... cell phone. Ah, okay, okay. And All yesterday, right. yesterday I broke. Uh -huh. I broke the. How do you say my my taza? Oh. Your, your cup, your favorite cup. cup. Yes, I broke my favorite cup because the cup is for my favorite anime. Oh, that's too bad. Oh my and God. I, and I vote to Mexico City. Ooh, no way. So you, next time you go to Mexico City, you will get another one. <laughs> is, it, is it two, is it two cups with broke? Is the second, the, the second uh, broken uh, yes. cup? Oh yes. my God. The first, my mother broke. In the next, she I broke. broke. It. Okay. Yes. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. David, come on. The next. 
Have you ever lost something important? Okay. Yes. Important, my cell phone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Only the cell phone is important and valuable. My purse. Ah, your purse. Okay. Yes, Marquitos? Yes, uh, I have uh, one, uh, one time uh, I forget my cell phone. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad anyway. Yes. Okay, okay. All right, thank you, David. Thank you, uh, uh, Marquito. David. The next question. Have you ever had the flu? Mm. Yeah. yeah, right, I think. Yes. Everybody yes. has had the flu, yes. David, come on. Have you ever forgotten an important appointment? Oh. Yes. Yes. What is it, Patty? Uh, my date passport. Passport. Pa the passport visa. appointment. I think uh, it was yes. a visa. Oh, you also the visa. Oh my God. Okay, okay next, David. Please. Come on. The last one. Have you ever fallen and hurt yourself? Yes. Yes. Um, I think everybody sometimes, yes. I mean, sometimes have uh, fallen and hurt, oh, right? Hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the point of the thing is that you stand up and nothing happens, right? Good job, guys. Okay. Thank you, guys. Now, look, uh, let's everybody go and check here uh, the verbs, okay? So here we have some verbs and we have to put uh, the base form past simple and past participle, okay? For example, guys, base form, win, one, one. Okay, now, can you help me please with the others? List. I have my list. Oh, excellent. So here, the base form, what is it? Uh, for, for God? It's get. 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 Gotten. Gotten. Exactly, very good. What about this? A spoken. Base form? Speak, a spoke, a spoken. Exactly. Yes. Spoke, spoken. Next. Take. Take two and taken. Exactly. Take two, taken. Very good. Next, find. Found, found. Find, found, found. Exactly, guys. Very good. Good job. Find, found, found. Yes. Lose. Lose, lost, lost. Lost, lost. Exactly. Next, half. Hot, hot. Half, half, half. Exactly, guys. Very good. Hot, hot. Um, forget. 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 Forgot. 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 Okay. Forgotten. Very good. Fall. Fell. Fall. Fell. Fall. 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 Fallen, excellent, very good. Okay. And the last one? Hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same, right? It's the same. It's the same uh, writing uh, and the same pronunciation. pronunciation. Yes, okay, very good, guys. So those are the verbs for you to practice, guys. From now on, this is going to be something that you that you should uh, practice at home, OK? Uh, OK, I'm going to turn off your microphone, uh, Diana, a little bit because it's making a little, a little noise, OK? OK, thank you. Thank you. So OK, guys, well, let's continue with the other part. 
speaking naturally, reduced and unreduced forms of have. Okay? Yes? So let's everybody listen to the speaking naturally, please. Come on. Page 15. Four, speaking naturally. Reduced and unreduced forms of have. A. Listen and repeat the question and answer above. Notice how have is reduced in questions and full statements, but not in short answers. Have you ever been to Mexico? No, I haven't. But my parents have been there several times. Okay. So listen back again, please. Come on. Page 15. Four, speaking naturally. Reduced and unreduced forms of have. A. Listen and repeat the question and answer above. Notice how have is reduced in questions and full statements, but not in short answers. Have you ever been to Mexico? No, I haven't. But my parents have been there several times. Okay, guys. So, uh, look at the how have is reduced again in questions. Repeat. Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you ever been to Mexico? Have you ever been to Mexico? Excellent. Now, now, look at the answer. But my parents, okay? But my parents been there several times. Okay? So, they, they con there's, like a, there's like a contraction here, okay? But my parents have been there several times, okay? But my parents been, but my parents been, okay? My parents been. Parents, parents, like an like F, F sound. But my parents, parents been, yes. Parents been, but my parents been, my parents, parents, my parents been there several times. My parents, but my parents, but my parents. Okay, now, in short answers, okay, is not reduced, okay? So you say, no, I haven't, just as it is. No, I haven't. Okay. Yes. Now let's practice a little bit more here, guys. Okay. Now, can you complete the question, please? Come on. Uh, number number one. Have you ever tried what? For example, have you ever tried a? a for example, what? A, let's say windsurfing. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried windsurfing? Have you? Have you ever tried windsurfing? Okay. Yes. Mr. Marcos, number two. Okay. Uh, have you ever been to? Remember that bean is like visited. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, have you ever been to visit uh, Italy? No, you, you don't say visit. Been to is like if you say visit, okay? It's just that you don't repeat visit because you, you already say been to. Have you ever been to? Italy, uh, okay. You yes. ever been to Italy? Italy, yes. It's like uh, it's similar when you say, "Have you ever visited Italy? Have you ever been to Italy?" Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, now, been to Italy. Okay. excellent, David. Number three. Have you ever seen the sunset in Sinfonia del Mar? Oh, excellent! Very good. <laughs> At Sinfonia. Yeah, yes, excellent, very good. 
Next. Uh, Patty, come on, number four. Have you ever taken an uh, English class? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taken. Taken. Ah, uh, but it says, but it says, ah. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> For example, a uh, French is just that if you say English, you should say an, an Drink? English. Have you ever taken a drink in the class? <laughs> Are you taking a drink in the class? Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but it says it says a drink class. No, you, you cannot say a drink class. You are talking about you are talking about a, a, a class, for example, French class, biology class. Uh, How you ever say uh, math class? Mathematic class. Class. Math okay. Mathematic class. Math yeah. Math I mean, I mean, taking English is okay. It's good, but you have to say an English class. And here it says a. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, guys, have you ever had? Okay. Have you ever had? Uh, what? For example, Italian, Italian food. Exactly. Very good. Have you ever had Italian food? Okay. Excellent. Very good. And the last one. Have you ever lost? Uh, thing very one thing very important. Uh huh. But yes, but important like what? Give me an example. You, uh, your cell phone or <laughs> cell phone, yeah. wallet. A wallet. A wallet, yes. <laughs> Imagine right. in, in your wallet you have your credit cards, you have your IDs, you have a lot of information. Yeah. A cell phone, you can buy another cell phone. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. All That's right, guys. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, okay, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna stop here. For homework, you guys are gonna do the other pages, okay? For you to practice a uh, page um, in the book, page 12 and 13, okay? So guys, I will see you, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a nice, um, have a nice evening, everybody, okay? Okay. okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. See you. Take See you care, tomorrow. guys. Bye-bye. See you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.